Hey guys and welcome back to my video. Today I bring you guys a sketchbook tour. This is sketchbook number 9. I started it on the 5th of August of this year and I'm finishing it on the 13th of November. So usually I start my sketchbooks with a quote from Harry Potter. It's the Marauder, Marauder's Map um, opening quote and I usually finish it with the closing quote. So this is how I decided to tackle it this year. It has a little bit of shine on Harry's glasses but yeah I'm not completely happy with it but that's a start. Um, this year this sketchbook I decided to do a little bit more of watercolor paintings and dedicate myself a little bit more to that. Um, just because I wanted to improve my skills and I do feel like I really did improve a little bit. Um, it's been interesting actually, but I also tend to get a little bit bored um, with just focusing on one medium in a sketchbook and it ends up giving me a lot of pressure to work with it and I don't know, I end up stopping and you'll see that I did stop eventually from using only watercolors to use just going back to pencils and sometimes barely watercolors and yeah I was just doing a little bit of this and that trying out new styles this is a uh, Danica Sills inspired one you should totally check her uh, channel out she's amazing and yeah this one I really do enjoyed it and I feel like it didn't get that much attention on Instagram but I really really like it I love the style that it ended up having a very natural subtle uh, I don't know I just like it um, I should do more of that but I haven't been able to I did try to reproduce it but it didn't quite happen um, I was back in Mozambique when I started it so hence the uh, African inspirations uh, Snow White, a, a very ugly <laughs> Snow White, and uh, decided to do something a bit more detailed, but I ended up doing something with watercolors just to, just to take up the space, the white space, and it fucked it up. This is also one of my favorites, it ended up being very natural, very subtle, and I really like the uh, lineless artwork, but I also feel like in some places you really do need those lines so it's kind of hard i'm still trying to find that sweet spot this is my uh, logo um i wanted to do a new one and it's basically me with a weasley t-shirt with my initial and uh, reading a book that is magically flo floating in the air <laughs> it's supposed to be me reading a book in gryffindor um tower uh, so it's a uh, red-ish old couch and I really like the patterns that I was able to achieve with it. I'm gonna have to start skimming this because I'm gonna take a whole lot of time. Uh, also one of my favorites is this one because again of the uh, details that I was able to achieve with the watercolors. Um, this is how I think I did improve. Um, I did a lot of um, Details with watercolors wet and wet, dry and dry, and all of that. Um, so I did improve in that, I guess, but other days it was just blank, nothing special artwork. So this I was trying to follow a mega mega Mikey uh, video tutorial just on curves and body, uh, I don't know, just a woman's, woman's body and um, it was cool here, but I was a bit bummed out of... I just didn't know what to do next, how I was going to improve it later. This is also in a digital uh, sketch that I uh, put on the uh, last video, I think. I did a uh, purple Sailor Moon <laughs> for some reason. I was just enjoying the purple watercolor that I had. Um, and I flipped it up. This is just around the page when I got my scrolling box and I was just trying to work with the pen because it's just a fucked up page. And this is what I ended up doing with it. If you guys want to see a video on this, let me know. I'll uh, post one. Because I do have the recording of this. I just lost the first part of the video. So 
I didn't post it because of that, because I lost that part. And yeah, here now, here kind of starts the whole early sketching part of it. Um, this one is just a messy sketch. Just messy sketches, nothing too important, nothing too big. I did put these sketches on ink with some new brush pens that I got. Um, this I did into a digital painting. Here I started picking up watercolors, and this actually looks really good on pencil, but in pencil, but when I put some watercolors into it and just did the line work and everything, it just screwed it up. So that's why I ended, end up just not using watercolor that much because whenever I do lines, I end up screwing them up. Uh, this is another page of sketches, nothing too fancy. And I think this was around the time that I lost, uh, that I ran out of red lead. So, Sailor Moon and her daughter. Yeah, so I started drawing uh, Snow White again. And I did this rendering of her that I actually really, really enjoy. Let me show you guys a close-up. Um... I really, really enjoyed this one. It just came out perfectly, exactly how I was, I was picturing it. Yeah, it's just sketches towards the end, nothing too fancy. Here I picked up pen because I don't like how pencil usually smudges all throughout the paper, so I picked up some pens and I just started sketching random shit. And yeah, so finished my sketchbook, did the mischief managed page, this is just how I love to finish every sketchbook and it kind of helps with the whole first page problems where you have this pressure to make the first page perfect and really beautiful because it's the first thing everyone's gonna see but yeah that's this helps a lot and I do advise you guys to get something like this if it's something that you struggle with so yeah hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video bye